Hey everyone, this is the integrated Math 1 practice test for 10 Ready for the 17-18 school year. Who knows, the numbers may be different in the future, so I'm just marking time. This question is actually really close to the one they had last year at number 4, but there are slight differences, so I wanted to redo it. Two of Ms. Cole's Earth Science classes have 23 students each. Box plots for recent test scores for these two classes are displayed. I have class 1 and class 2, so third period and fifth period. Which statement about the scores is true? So we're looking at uh, box and whisker plots. This point here would represent my minimum value. It's my lowest. This represents my maximum value. This represents my interquartile range. So to me, interquartile range is sort of like, if you could see that color on that background, how I think about a dollar's worth of quarters. Q2, or my median, is here between the 50 cent pieces. The diff, the right between one quarter and two quarters is this where Q1 is located. Q3 is between 75 cents and the quarter that would make the dollar. And the interquartile range would be the inter, the inner quarters. So it's called the interquartile range. Not a huge deal there, but just an FYI. What that means is the middle half of all the data tends to fall here, um, in terms of ordering it anyway. Now, this would be our median, Q3, Q1. I might go ahead and just think about what the inter, uh, inner sheesh, inner quartile range is. I always say inner quartile, but um, this is probably around 87. And I'd say this is somewhere around 73. My inner quartile range is probably somewhere around 14. For this one, this is my min, this is my max, this is my median, Q3, Q1, and about 80, it's probably about the same as this one, I guess, about 87. And this one is 68. 19. Somewhere in there. So now they want to know which statement about these about the scores is true. A, the means of the two sets of data are equal. Well, the medians are located in a very similar position. That's not the same thing as the mean. The mean value would be the average of the values. And we can take a look. If there's any real shifting, you'll start to see that there's probably not going to have the mean with the same value. You'll notice that the inner quartile range here, number number one, it's bigger, but it also tends to lean down here and the minimum value is considerably lower. Here, the max value is higher, um, my minimum value is more, and it's sort of clumped together. So a lot of my data falls between um, in this general area. So it looks like my I can't really say enough about the mean to say that they're equal and I don't really suspect that they are but you know I've been surprised before but this 100 would tend to bring things up this 45 would tend to bring things down so that's the difference between median and mean. Mean is easily affected by an outlier or even a value that's not an outlier but sort of like an outlier. Outlier junior maybe? Outlier in training? Who knows? Um, there you go. B, the lower quartiles of the two data sets are the same. So when they say lower quartiles, I'm assuming they mean Q1. So Q1 here is 67. Q1 here is 73, so probably not. They could also mean, by the way, that if they, it's quartiles, they could mean Q2 and Q1. So this one's about at 70. Nine. This one's about there too. So I'm gonna make a star there. If I can find a better answer, I'm gonna pick it. But if I can't, I'm not going to. More students in third period than fifth period scored an 87 or above. Here's an 87. So right in here, and same thing here. The 
reality is we're not if the q3 is here that means that if there's 23 students the same number pops up here and here now they have a higher overall score but i can't say necessarily that there are more students in third period than fifth that scored an 87 one kid may be up here and then everybody else is down down in this area but if we've broken it up into quarters it's very likely that the same number of people is above this that's how we deal with quartiles it's a number of students or a number of whatever data that we're looking at and letter D D has some promise I guess so fewer students in third period than fifth period scored a 70 or below so here's where 70 is located but that is part of 70 below would be here so in fifth period Q1 is still inside of 70 so that means all of the you know first quartile plus another person most likely is below 70 or 70 or below at least now with third period here's 70 not even the entirety of Q1 is inside 70 so I can say with confidence that fewer students in third period than in fifth period scored a 70 or below so that's the shift that you need to make when I look at interquartile, or sorry, when I look at box and whisker plots, the thing that I can see is about how many people fall into each group, but not specific information about who scored what and how they scored. The problem with A is I don't know the exact mean. I can get a general feel for what I think it is, but I don't know enough to say, yeah, that's the one. For the lower quartiles, if we're talking about uh, Q1, then no, they're not the same. And we assume, based on how the question is structured, that that's what they want. I will say that I'm not in love with that wording, but that's a whole other thing. Um, for C, more students in third period than fifth period scored an 87 or above. The problem is we know they both have 23 students. We're breaking up the numbers based on how many people are there. So, you know, a fourth essentially of 23, I know that doesn't work out evenly but uh, around that I can only assume that it's possible that the same number ends up in Q4 which would be from here to here then here to here and then for D I can say yeah for fewer students because all of Q1 is not included in 70 and below and for third period for fifth period somebody from Q1 or it's actually Q2 Q1 to the point of the median would be quarter two um, is also included so that was more people so we have to look at groups of things and how many fall into that group other than the specific values that we are trying to find